Hey, what's up? My name is Ash, or you can call me Ashley. This is my channel, Artistry X Ash, and I have a whole video today. But first, if you're new here, hey, how you doing? I hope you stick around. You can hit the subscribe button if you would like. Usually I say this at the end. I'm, I'm switching up what I'm doing at the beginning. So yeah, there's not really much to talk about. I got really sad, and when I get sad, I either do something to my hair or I buy makeup that I don't need. So as you can see, I did something to my hair and I bought a bunch of makeup I don't need, so things have been a little rough in quarantine. And before I jump into everything that I bought, I just want to say that I know it's a terrible time for everyone with quarantine going on. I know some states have lifted their bans. Where I currently live, the ban is still in effect. It might not be lifted until June 1st. And it looks like I might not be going to work until closer to June. I know it's right at the end of May. It's not that far away, but you know, it is what it is. And I also know that money can be tight for people. I bought this stuff because I have a credit card at Sephora. And do I need a credit card at Sephora? No. Am I justifying what I bought? No. But it is what I bought. I like makeup. I like reviewing makeup when I can. I like using new products and I buy new makeup, not just for my enjoyment, but for my channel, for my Instagram, for my TikTok, for my Twitter, even though I suck at everything social media and I talk with my hands too much, my upper lip is so fucking sweaty. Yeah, so I buy this for myself and for, you know, what I do here. Not that I get the views or anything, but I enjoy it and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I bought from three different places, Sephora, Mayron, and Anastasia.com, or AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, AH. So I'm going to start with my Anastasia order. I will say that this isn't my complete Anastasia order. When I opened my box, I only had one of the three items that I ordered. I emailed their customer service, forgot that Monday is going to be a holiday, and I was like, oh my god, I have to wait until at least possibly Tuesday to hear a response. I'm not mad. I'm not the type of person to get mad about screw-ups. I'm just really bummed. But what was in my box was the new Norvina palette. I actually am wearing this on my eyes today. I put it back in the box just for this video, but I got this. I have all the other Norvina palettes. I have a lot of Anastasia palettes. I actually have a drawer dedicated to all my Anastasia palettes, which is quite excessive, but this is the palette. It is beautiful. If I do say so myself, I mean, just look at that. I am wearing quite a few of these shades on my eyes. I have D2, which is this yellow on my inner corner. It's not as bright as I would want it to be, but it gets the job done. It reminds me a lot of the... Cats are making noises. It reminds me a lot of the food video shade and the conspiracy palette, but this one is less bright. It's a little more muted, which works actually well with all these. You have two pressed glitters down here, which I have both mixed on my eye. I'm not a big fan of pressed glitters. I will use them, but I find them super messy. It's a pretty palette. I had to pick it up. And when I placed this order, I ordered the cake liners, both sets, and they have it on my order slip that they were in the box, but they weren't in the box and <sighs> broke my heart, truly. So next up is Mayron. So I follow Oh, I'm gonna not say her name right. Alexis Alexandra A. Daniels. That's what her, like, at names are. I follow her, and she's always using this Mayron palette. It is the... If I, oh, it's so hard for me to open. It's just... It's this, I think it's 30 pan body paint palette, and she's constantly using it. And I have been wanting to get into body paint, and just, like, watching her and, like, her videos and her photos and everything that she does has just, it sold me on it, so I got it, and I am excited to play with it. I haven't played with it yet. I've been meaning to sit down. First look I want to do is like a clown look, but I don't think I'm going to get to it, but I'm so excited. If you guys want to see a video of me trying this out, because I don't know what I'm doing, let me know. Along with the body paint, I did want to try and get into some SFX. I am not the best at anything, really if I'm being honest. But I want to try. So I picked up a couple more things from Mayron. So I picked up some liquid latex. I've never used this before, I think. I, I mean, I may have like a long, long time ago, but I've never used, not just Mayron, like in general, liquid latex. But I picked it up 
and I have a couple looks in mind. I watch a lot of Glam and Gore who uses this. I've watched other videos of like looks with liquid latex and I'm excited. I have big plans for Halloween. I don't know if I'm going to get anything done because if I say I'm going to do it, chances are I'm not going to do it. So I'm not going to say I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, just going to try. <laughs> then I got Spirit Gum with Remover. Just a little set. They have like the set like this and then they have like larger sizes. Since I am new to this haul and I don't know what I'm doing, I decided to start small and just buy the smallest sizes of stuff. So I picked up that. And I picked up Rigid Collodion, which is like the scarring liquid. It says scarring liquid. Like you make scars with it. You don't put it anywhere by your eyes or like anywhere like where the skin is like super thin. Look like that dude. Give yourself a Chelsea grin, you know. Joker it. Exciting. And then the last things I got for Mayron is just, I got some blood. This is a stage blood. And this one's just a darker stage blood. And this one is coagulated blood. Don't know what I'm going to do with these, but you know, we'll see. Then we can just hop into my Sephora order. This actually wasn't supposed to be delivered. It said like estimated delivery date, the end of May, like the 28th or 29th. And it showed up Thursday. So. so first thing I picked up is this Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. This is probably like my fifth one that I have bought. It is just, it's amazing. So good. Worth the money. Um, some of this stuff is like, I ran out of it so I'm buying it again. So Anastasia Dewey set. I really do like this setting spray. It is very very dewy. The scent, not too much my favorite, but I love the effect it gives on my skin. It is very refreshing and it does make you dewy and you can definitely overdo it. Usually when I make orders like this, I buy a bunch of palettes I don't need. I only bought one this time and this is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. So I have all of Dominique Cosmetics palettes now that I have this one. I adore this formula. It blends so well and I'm hoping that this is the same but this is what the palette looks like and it's just beautiful. The latte, original latte palette that they launched with is one of my go-to's but this is just, it's really pretty. It is like a neutral palette but you get a pop of green and like this or orange, it's like yellow called strawberry milk which that looks like it'd be a really pretty blush. One thing that I love about her brand is she makes the pan sizes bigger because a lot of these shades are like you can use for the face so you can easily fit a face brush into it. Like I will definitely try out Strawberry Milk as a blush but yeah it's a great brand. If you've never decided to pick up anything I recommend the original Latte palette. Another repeat buy is the Urban Decay eye pencil. The perversion shade, the 24/7 Clydon eye pencil. So it's just a black shade. Another repeat buy. Dermalogica Logica is available at Sephora. I usually buy it at Ulta, but this is the Daily Microfoliant. Yeah, Microfoliant. I love this stuff. It is really nice. It's gentle. It's safe enough for me to use daily, which I don't use it daily, but I probably should. It's a great exfoliant. That is really good. And I buy the mini sizes because I'm too effing cheap. And then last like repeat buy in a way is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I got it in the shade Caramel. I bought this when I was still blonde and I've been using the Caramel Dip Brow Gel as a blonde and I use it now still but I figured this would be a good one to have. So we all know by now hopefully that Kat Von D Beauty is now rebranded to KVD Vegan Beauty and I have decided to give them another try. So I picked up two blushes because I think these are fairly new and I just, I am a whore for blush. I love it so much. But I got this one in Foxglove and this one is Poppy. One thing about KVD as a brand is their packaging is everything. Like this, like look how cool that is. There's one of the blushes that looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous like everyday blush for me. Super stoked about that. But yeah, two blushes. And then I got a contour set. It's a shade and light contour duo in the light shade. So I used to have the shade and light contour palette and I, I don't know, I didn't like it. This looks like it was different shades, but it looks like it might be the same shade that was in there. It comes with lucid and somber, but yeah. 
packaging is super cute. It was small and I've been looking for a new contour product because everything I've been trying lately has been pulling way too warm on me and that's not what I like for a contour. I got another blush. This is from Natasha Denona. It's the Mini Bloom Highlighting Blush. It's just so tiny. If you know Natasha Denona products, they are expensive. But it looks like that. I think even just this was like over $20. So I got the Urban Decay Inked Brow product. It's their new brow thing. I, for some reason, thought that this was going to be bigger than what it was. But I got it in Taupe Trap. Because again, I bought all this stuff when I was blonde. I haven't seen anybody like use it in like a YouTube video. I've seen a couple of TikToks with it. But I haven't actually seen it in like action action. So I know nothing about this or how to use it. But... I, I wanted to try it. I kept seeing this thing about this brand Kaja and their like heart stamp blush and I was like it's blush, it's a heart and it's cute, it's a pretty shade. So they had like a mini set so it came with the blush and a lipstick. First of all, that's the packaging. I don't know how to yeah, products in there. I'm not gonna open it just yet. But yeah, so you pop that open for the product and that is I. I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna guess that the shade is like something like that. And let's see, the lipstick is in Baby Girl. Petite Fee, if you're French. Which I took French for a couple years. Suck at speaking it. Oh, it's a heart too. Cute. And that is the color. I'm not gonna swatch it just yet. Last products are from Fenty Beauty. If you follow the brand, or trend mood you know that they came out with cream products so i picked up a cream bronzer and three cream blushes i was aware that these were going to be small but they are so small so for the bronzer i got the shade amber which is the lightest shade i'm guessing i love fenty packaging oh yeah i got the you know dew effect on it but excited for that. Hopefully it's a decent shade for me. And then for the blushes, I got three blushes, Strawberry Drip, Petal Poppin', and Cool Berry. I was mostly excited for Strawberry Drip because it just looks so pretty. It's so tiny and like, it's just, it's so bright, but I heard that these go on pretty sheer, but you can build them up. But this shade, I am so excited for it. So this one's Petal Popping. It's a really pretty shade. And then this one is Cool Berry. This one may possibly be too dark for me, but like I saw it like swatched and blended out on lighter skin. And I think if you really blend it out and keep it sheer, I think that one, I can make it work. But yeah, that is everything that I bought. Did I spend too much money? Yes, yes I did. But yeah, I have now material that I can film with. New material, fresh material, and that is exciting. I have new products to try out and review and I just, this is what I love. Yeah, I love makeup way too much. <laughs> it is what it is. Fingers crossed ABH gets back to me fairly quickly so I can figure out what happened to my cake liners because I wanted them so bad. But yeah, I think that is it. I don't have anything else to add other than everything that I mentioned today is listed in the description below along with all my social media links. You can follow me over there, although I am ArtistryXAsh on pretty much everything except for Snapchat, but I don't use Snapchat anymore, so... Thumbs up this video if you like it, but also you can leave a comment down below if you have tried any of these products or if you want me to do a review on any of the specific ones or tutorials or whatever, I'd be happy to do that. But yeah, I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye!